Hi, how are you doing? I hope you're well. Um, today I thought I'd share with you a little bit of a bloggy, vloggy rant type um, advice piece because actually it's some universal thing that affects a lot of people and actually I'm no different so I wanted to get your view in terms of what you think and the burning philosophical question is which shade works better for your skin tone. So with me, I've got Asian skin and you may have may not have noticed that I'm wearing two different shades today. So this is a hot pink shade and this is a peach shade. Now, I don't know which one you think is better or whether you think they've both got their different merits. I mean, looking at it, the peach shade is sits in with the skin better. It's a bit more universally flattering. It's a lot more subtle and it looks more like a tan than a sort of bright flush um, but at the same time it's got that hint of colour. The pink shade is a hot pink, it's an in your face look at me kind of shade. It's bright, it's vibrant and it's brightening at the same time. So with both of them there's different pros and cons and I know obviously a lot of it will come down to what kind of makeup you're wearing. So I've got quite dramatic eyes so maybe looking at it this is more um, appropriate or fitting um, and at the same time a lot of it does boil down to the occasion and of course what your skin tone's like and that's why I wanted to throw it out there because for me for years my shade of choice was this one I assumed that growing up it was kind of like I only really saw tan shades I only really saw orange and rustic browny kind of brick shades um, for skin tone because that's the way I was um, led to believe that Asian skin needs to be dressed you can't go for the hot pinks, you can't go for that um, bright shade. Having said that, one of the factors was that I was brought up in a um, small town in Wales where MAC probably wasn't even that big then anyway, but certainly um, wasn't on the shelves where I grew up. The shades that were pink were quite chalky, they were quite um, very much basically for your light skin, your, you know, your white skin, definitely not for Asian skin, in fact options were limited. So probably a bit scarred. Um, so essentially I really didn't opt for um, many different shades and I certainly didn't go beyond um, what I knew which was pretty much this shade. Over time obviously the likes of Mac, the likes of Bobbi Brown have come out and really tried to do things for all skin tones and the pigment's a lot better, the quality's a lot better and that's why this kind of shade which is um, Dolly Mix actually sits so much better on the skin it's still got a pop of colour, it's still bright, but it works and I don't feel it's, um, well in fact I feel it's quite flattering um, on Asian skin and it suits. So I just wonder what your um, view is, if you've got dark or Asian skin, do you opt for a particular shade, do you stick with what's safe and what you know? Um, conversely, the other side, if you've got pale um, skin, I also want to hear from you too, because do you stick to such things as safe shades? Are there things that you only think work for you that you wouldn't opt for. It's interesting because recently I did a piece on Laura's, um, Laura Geller's monochromatic blush which is a very hot pop of colour. It's a very vibrant pink and the comments I got from people um, that have dark black or Asian skin were quite often oh that's encouraged me to experiment a little or that, that definitely does look like quite a scary shade. And it's interesting because I think there's so many of us out there that do stick to safe colours, do stick to things that they believe only really sit right for them and it's because of their skin tone. Whereas actually I hope what this shows is you can have two very different colours and they can work in different ways. And I think it's all about picking something that's quite well pigmented, got you know a good finish to it, it's not chalky, it's quite smooth. And also, you know, it's depending on what occasion, what outfit, what makeup you've got on. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this because, like I say, it's a topic quite close to my heart because I've always felt, you know, with Asian skin, certainly where I grew up, that, you know, there's certain things, you know, you, you just don't wear makeup. You have to keep it quite safe. There weren't many options. So it's really nice now through blogging and generally... Um, I'm, you know, playing a bit more and finding a few different shades and I'm realising that actually some rules are meant to be broken and these kind of things that you're often told, which is this shade works better for your skin tone, you know, that's not always the case and sometimes experimentation helps. So I would love to hear from you on this topic. Please do let me know your thoughts and leave me a comment underneath because, um, I'm, like I say, I'm interested for people from, you know, all backgrounds, all skin tones to tell me what you think works for you because um, it shows that there's no one size fits all. 
So I hope you find um, this run interesting. I hope it gets you know gets you talking. And please don't forget to subscribe and show the love on YouTube. You can also follow me on the various different social medias and my blog, the Guild's blog, of course, is out there for all to follow. And I hope to hear from you very soon. And I hope to see you very soon too. Take care. Bye.